lot of Super Bowl stuff we're going to be talking about, all the way from the Super Bowl halftime show to what part of the show made people cry, literally some of the players and the management. It was amazing. Uh, multiple UFOs continue to be shot down, seems like every day this past week. And Michael Keaton back as Batman. Holy crap, that's coming up with what's trending. Big congratulations to Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. They beat the Philadelphia Eagles yesterday, 38-35, to winning the game. Uh, Patrick Mahomes was named MVP. It's the third Super Bowl that uh, they have won. The Kansas City has won. The last one was in 2020. Now, Rihanna performed the halftime show, announcing to the world that she's pregnant with baby number two. She did take it easy. There were a lot of haters and a lot of love online. Uh, about the whole performance. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people said it was lackluster. Either way, she went out, she did her thing, like five months pregnant, so good for her. And Chris Stapleton did the national anthem, which really moved everybody. There were multiple players that they were brought to tears. And it even made me tear up watching it. And then you had the first ever all-female fighter pilot group doing the, the flyover of the Super Bowl. It was amazing, at least to start off the game, and even the ending was kind of cool, too. Well, for the fourth time this week, more objects were shot down. Identified objects are unidentified. Yesterday, an unidentified object was shot down over Lake Huron in Michigan. Saturday, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced that this object was shot down over Canada. And then Friday, one was taken down over Alaska. All of this over like a week's time. This is really weird. Something out of a movie. UFOs all over the place. Well, last night during the Super Bowl, we finally got to see the trailer, the premiere of the new Flash movie trailer. You changed the future. And you changed the past. What did you do? Want some help? You're, you are, you're. Yeah. I'm Batman. And it's going to be having to do with some kind of multiverse. And there's more than one Batman. Of course, you've got uh, Ben Affleck, but then they're bringing Michael Keaton back. When I saw this trailer, I literally jumped up out of my seat just to hear Michael Keaton say, yeah, I'm Batman. It was amazing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you tomorrow.